we, we have a limited amount of money. No, no one ever says that. Uh, it's like in this country, the, com the NHS is always underfunded. Every, you know, if, if the electricity prices or gas prices go up, the government has to support people, right? And, and who could disagree with that? Well, and tell me something. How many of these people know the word seniorage? None. None. Do you? No. None. Seniorage is the tax on the holders of money that they experience when you print more of it. Right. So in essence, when the money supply goes up and you say, you, you know, uh, we really need um, to do something about uh, monetary policy in order to alleviate the, the pressure, you're really saying we need to tax the holders of money by uh, printing more of it. So you're raising money through seniorage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have like all of these other things that are really bizarrely explained, like a, a stock market crash. Stocks fell today in a, in a precipitous decline over the last three trading hours. That's not what happened at all. The right way of saying it is the dollar surged against equities or the pound sur surged against the FTSE. You know, and, and what is it? You've got this amazing and beautiful numerator, which is an index fund, let's say, with 500 stocks for the S&P. But what's your denominator? Oh, it's the dollar. It's one instrument. And that one instrument is further disguised by being called the numeraire. It's the measuring stick. So now you're playing games with a rubberized measuring stick. And when the measuring stick moves, that's what caused all the equities to apparently fall. It's, it's not the price of equities. It's an exchange rate with another instrument. And the other instrument surged. So what we do is we keep you in a perpetual state of stupidity. So, and the reason that they do that is because if they're honest, that will precipitate a loss of confidence. And if it's a loss of confidence, then the whole thing collapses like the house of cards that it is. Well, correct. And you don't want a complete loss of confidence. You want theater. You want bullshit. You want belief. But you want a higher level, adult level. You want an adult level of fiction. These fictions are dangerous, unsustainable. You know, there's a French philosopher, Jamie Charteris, told me this and it changed my life. He said, a nation is defined to be a group of people who have agreed to forget something in common. And you have to understand the purpose of, of nonsense, of theater, of BS, of aspiration. The US had some of the best of this stuff. All men being created equal when you held slaves. It wasn't true. It was honored only initially in the breach, but it was open-ended and it gave the opportunity when you had the opportunity to get rid of your slavery, to promote something to all men truly being equal. And then we get these things like this, oh, what is it, the idiot 1619 project, where we replace one brilliant set of fictions with a completely ridiculous set of fictions that are not sustainable. 